In this video, we'll go over how to create a pricing table, but more importantly, we'll have a look at how to link the buttons on your pricing table to your WooCommerce subscription product. Let's get straight into it. For example, when we click on this particular plan here, it will take us directly to the checkout page with this subscription product already in our basket. So let's just go ahead and click on it. And then here you can see it's taken us to the checkout page and we've already got the product preloaded in our basket. So this just reduces the number of steps. So typically you'd have to visit the product page. It'll have to click add to cart, view the cart page, and then the checkout page. Whereas this method streamlines the user experience. And to achieve all this, we'll be using the all-in-one checkout plugin. So just head over to aovup.com, go ahead and download all-in-one at checkout plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. So how we create the pricing at table isn't that important. The most challenging part is actually linking your subscription product onto the pricing table. All right, so throughout this video, I'll be using Elementor. If you're using the default WordPress block based editor, then I'll leave a link to a different plugin that will help you create a pricing table quickly from a template. All right, so let's not obsess too much about the pricing table. So with that being said, we need to upload and install the all-in-one at checkout plugin by AOVOP. So I've already got that installed. First, let's actually go ahead and create our pricing table and then we'll get the links for our pricing table. So I'm just going to add a new page. I'm going to call this one plans. OK, and since I'm using Elementor Pro, I can actually use their pricing table. OK, so let's duplicate this and let's create three plans. Again, we're not sweating the detail on our pricing table. And if we hit publish, let's go ahead and view this page. OK, but when we click these buttons, it actually takes us nowhere. So let's go ahead and link these up to our subscription product. So let's head back over to our dashboard. All right, so we've quickly created a subscription product and we could essentially just copy the link to the product page, but this isn't the best user experience. If you imagine someone clicking on the link, they'll have to click sign up, go to the cart page and then the checkout page is just a poor user experience. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna head back over to our dashboard and now we'll navigate over to AIO checkout for all in one at checkout. And where it says buy link, we're gonna click on this option here. And then all we're going to do is click create a new buy link. Then we'll click add product and then we'll search for our subscription product. So in our case, we named it um, basic. OK, then we'll select this particular product here. If it was a variable subscription, it will also be supported as well. When it's a variable subscription, it will allow us to choose the variation. Or if we left it blank, when a user clicks on a link on a checkout page, it will give them the option to choose the variation. So this is why this plugin is so useful. And for the buy link name, we can rename this to basic. And again, this is just for in future, let's say we're running a campaign on social media and we just want to quickly drive prospects directly to the checkout page with this subscription already in their basket, we can do so. So again, we just name it. It's just for internal purposes, as I said. And if we wanted to automatically apply a coupon code to this particular subscription, we can do so, right? So we can just enable the coupon code here. But again, we're just going to keep things super simple. Let's hit save and then it will generate our buy link here. So we'll just copy over this link. And now when we head back over to plans, Let's say, for example, this particular pricing plan, we can just go ahead and paste in our buy link here. OK, so let's hit update. And of course, you'll do this for all your other plans as well. OK, so let's refresh this page. And now when a customer clicks on this link, it'll take them directly to the checkout page with that plan already in their basket. OK, and here we can see our subscription information here. Another benefit of using this plugin as well is that it will allow you to customize the checkout fields and also customize the checkout layout. So for example, this particular checkout design is powered by the all-in-one checkout plugin. So let's quickly head back over to our dashboard and we'll tweak this design slightly. So let's navigate over back to our dashboard. And again, we'll click on AIO checkout and we're gonna create a new checkout. Okay, for this, example i'm going to select this modern one column layout here we can customize the thank you page as well 
right? So we can build one from scratch or we can use one of our pre-made designs. And then again, with the fields, we can customize the fields. So maybe we don't need a phone field. We don't need a shipping field. And we can just tweak it to our liking, all right? And we can add new fields here as well. We can just drag and drop it onto the canvas. All right, then we'll just navigate to settings. Then we'll enable this. Okay, and then we can set it as our global checkout. Okay, we'll just hit save changes for now. And now when we refresh this page, here we can see this one column layout. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.